Eat these eight herbs to boost kidney cleanse and detox. The beneficial effects of herbs on kidney function are increasingly being noticed, particularly in conditions like diabetic kidney disease or kidney disease caused by diabetes. This is attributed to specific antioxidants found in herbs, such as polysaccharides, flavonoids, xanthines, and peptides. These compounds also have demonstrated potential in cleansing your kidneys. Simply put, their antioxidants help cleanse your kidneys from harmful molecules called free radicals, the major causes of kidney disease. When we eat or live unhealthily, our kidneys can become overwhelmed with toxins like heavy metals or free radicals. These toxins accumulate for years, so forget about any three-day routines or fancy supplements for kidney cleansing. These methods can be risky and offer little, if any, help. We covered this topic extensively in our previous video, so we highly recommend you to check it out for more details. And for now, the best thing you can do for your kidneys is eating more antioxidant-rich foods like herbs. Herbs can also address prolonged high blood sugar, drug toxicity, and oxidative stress, which are common factors associated with kidney injury. Plus, herbs are effective in lowering blood pressure and enhancing cardiovascular functions, all of which are often compromised in chronic kidney disease or CKD in short. Note that excessive salt intake has been linked to kidney damage. Hence, exploring alternatives to traditional seasoning becomes crucial for your kidney health. Herbs with their diverse flavors and kidney benefits, as we've just discussed, can serve as excellent substitutes for salt in cooking. We're here to help you explore the top 8 herbs that can help with kidney cleansing how they benefit kidney function, and how they keep your kidneys cleansed, healthy, and robust. These herbs can also lighten the load on your kidneys, keeping them clean from the beginning. And the best part? They're delicious and easy to add to your meals. Before we dive in, kindly note that all information you'll find in this video is produced by humans and for humans. You can visit our website at Health Today. Come to see our advisory board and the team behind these videos. We do not use artificial intelligence writing tools like ChatGPT to automatically generate content. Be assured, our information is thoroughly fact-checked, unbiased, and reviewed by qualified professionals. Alright, it's time to swing back to the herbs that can help cleanse your kidneys. 8. Dandelion Dandelion or Taraxacum officinale, a member of the Asteraceae family, grows abundantly across the northern hemisphere in various environments. 8. Dandelion This plant is not just a weed, it is known for versatile health benefits and abundant bioactive compounds, particularly antioxidants, such as sesquiterpene, lactones, phenolic acids, and inulin. Antioxidants can help neutralize harmful free radicals in the kidneys, safeguarding your kidneys from free radicals and oxidative stress. Some common antioxidants in dandelions, such as sesquiterpine, lactones, and phenols, also have anti-inflammatory effects. This property helps relieve kidney-damaging inflammation and foster optimal kidney function. Dandelion is also packed with a rich array of vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals. Medicinally, with its bioactive ingredients, dandelion is highly valued for its contributions to kidney, liver, and gallbladder health. A 2010 study in the International Journal of Immunopathology and Pharmacology examined dandelion extract for its antioxidant and protective effects against induced oxidative stress. The extract showed notable effectiveness against free radicals and oxidative stress. These findings suggest that dandelion can aid in kidney cleansing as part of herbal formulations. Moreover, Dandelions act as natural diuretics. 
Aiding more urine production, this helps kidneys flush out toxins and waste from your body. However, due to their diuretic effect and high potassium content, dandelions are not recommended for patients with severe chronic kidney disease. Still, Dandelion enjoys global recognition in culinary traditions, featuring in salads, soups, and even wines. Its leaves can be enjoyed raw or cooked, and its roots and flowers are used for teas. Dandelion is considered safe by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, or FDA in short. However, some people might be allergic to certain dandelion compounds which could cause a skin rash or, rarely, an allergic reaction. If you're allergic to honey or plants like ragweed, daisies, chrysanthemums, sunflowers, or marigolds, it's best to avoid dandelions. Traditional Chinese medicine also suggests that dandelions are not good for people sensitive to cold. Note that too much of anything can cause adverse effects but it is uncertain how much dandelion is unsafe. So, it's wise to begin with a small amount and see how your body responds. If you have any more concerns regarding dandelions as well as other herbs, we provide precautionary information at the end of this video. Make sure to check it out because this information is important. Are you enjoying our video so far? If so, Please give us some hints by dropping a like, and we'll make more content like this. 7. Parsley Parsley is a staple in culinary traditions worldwide. This biennial plant is from the Apaceae family. Anise, celery, fennel, and carrot are also part of this family, which has distinct flowers arranged in umbels. Regarding parsley, this herb's essential oils are rich in antioxidants, such as flavonoids and polyphenolic compounds. It's renowned for its diverse medicinal properties, such as being diuretic, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant. These effects make parsley valuable in treating urinary tract disorders due to hypertension. But wait, how can this herb do so? Parsley can block the sodium-potassium ADPase, a pump found in the cells of the kidney tubules. This pump usually helps your body absorb sodium and potassium. But parsley can slow it down. As a result, more sodium and potassium stay in the kidney tubules instead of being absorbed back into your body. This makes the tubules more concentrated with these minerals. To balance things out, water from the cells flows into the tubules, making more urine. So, like dandelions, parsley makes you urinate more. This is why people with CKD should not take parsley. Let me repeat that. Parsley helps those prone to urinary tract infections or kidney stones in a 2009 study published in the Brazilian Journal of Pharmacognosy, Researchers investigated the diuretic effects of parsley extract on rats, reflecting its traditional use in Brazilian folk medicine. They tested this on 19 anesthetized Wista rats, giving them either filtered water or parsley extract by mouth. The rats given parsley extract showed higher urinary flow, more sodium and potassium in their urine, along with lower blood pressure. These effects may help take some workload off their kidneys. So, this study supports parsley's potential to improve kidney health. Parsley is a versatile and cheap way to add flavor to your dishes. To boost their flavor, you can use dried parsley in many recipes, like soups, stews, and tomato sauces. Fresh parsley is perfect for making homemade salad dressings, marinades, and seafood dishes. You can also add fresh sprigs to dishes that don't need cooking or sprinkle them on at the end of cooking. To keep fresh parsley longer, wrap it in a damp paper towel and store it in a closed container in the fridge. For those interested in the evidence, click the studies supporting our claims are provided in the link in our description box. 6. Turmeric Turmeric 
derived from the root of curcumoanga, contains curcuminoids like curcumin, which have been extensively studied for their therapeutic potential. Plus, research suggests that turmeric may have potential benefits for kidney health due to its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Also, traditional medicine uses turmeric for urinary tract infections, liver issues, and digestive disorders, further suggesting it could promote kidney health. Adding turmeric to your diet may offer a natural way to support overall kidney function and health. Plus, curcumin and turmeric can help improve gut health and counter inflammation. This can indirectly benefit the kidneys because a healthy gut and reduced inflammation can help decrease oxidative stress, which is often linked with chronic kidney disease, or CKD in short. Additionally, curcumin's anti-inflammatory properties may directly alleviate inflammation in the kidneys, potentially slowing the progression of CKD. One bonus point with curcumin is that it is easily absorbed by the body, making it highly effective in plasma, urine, and tissue. This quality is known as high bioavailability. In a 2022 meta-analysis in the Journal of Functional Foods, researchers investigated how taking curcumin affects blood creatinine levels in patients with inflammatory diseases. Creatinine is a waste product formed from muscle breakdown and is filtered by the kidneys and expelled in urine. So, more blood creatinine implies your kidneys are not working well to filter them, making them a key measure of kidney function. Analyzing 14 studies, scientists found that oral curcumin supplementation led to a significant decrease in creatinine levels. Notably, the positive impact was more pronounced in trials with longer durations when people took curcumin. This suggests that curcumin, the active compound in turmeric, could be crucial for promoting kidney health. So, unlike dandelion and parsley, turmeric is beneficial for CKD patients. However, if you have oxalate kidney stones, eat it in moderation. Turmeric is usually fine for other types of kidney stones, so it's best to ask your urologist about your specific type of stone if you have one. Studies typically recommend doses of 500 to 2,000 mg of natural turmeric or its extract per day for overall health. But there has not yet been a specific human study on kidney disease. You can get more curcumin from an extract than from natural turmeric. For example, the average Indian diet provides about 2,000 to 2,500 mg of turmeric per day, which equals around 60 to 100 mg of curcumin. Turmeric spices contain about 3% curcumin, whereas extracts contain around 95%. However, turmeric can still offer benefits when used as a spice. 5. Ginger Ginger, originating in Southeast Asia and widely used as a spice and condiment worldwide, is a member of the Zingiberaceae family. This family comprises aromatic perennial herbs, such as ginger, turmeric, cardamom, and galangal. Among them, Ginger's root has been utilized in traditional herbal medicine phytonutrients. Some of these compounds are gingerols, shogols, parietals, and zingarone, which offer various health benefits. Additionally, ginger has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and antimicrobial properties, making it a versatile ingredient with potential health-promoting effects. Using ginger as a seasoning can prove beneficial effects, especially for kidney health. Ginger adds flavor to dishes without increasing sodium intake, which is crucial for individuals with chronic kidney disease, or CKD. By reducing salt intake and incorporating ginger into recipes, you can enjoy flavorful meals while helping your kidneys. Plus, Ginger's anti-inflammatory properties may offer extra benefits for kidney function compared to salt. 
A systematic review in 2022 examined how ginger extract can protect the kidneys and diabetic kidney disease. The study looked at 41 articles and found that ginger supplementation significantly decreased blood glucose levels in 28 studies and reduced malondialdehyde, or MDA in short, levels in 9 studies. MDA is a type of biomarker that measures the amount of oxidative stress present in the body. So, a reduced MDA level through ginger supplementation suggests that ginger may effectively mitigate oxidative stress in the body, including the kidneys. Also, in several studies, ginger lowered serum creatinine, total cholesterol, and triglycerides, all of which benefits kidney health. This indicates the role of ginger in lowering blood sugar, lipid levels, inflammation, oxidative stress, and kidney injuries associated with diabetic kidney disease, highlighting its promising role in promoting kidney health. 4. Stinging Nettle Stinging nettle, a perennial herbaceous plant with spiny leaves, is native to the western United States and has been used in herbal medicine for centuries. Ancient Egyptians used it for arthritis and back pain, and Roman soldiers applied it to keep warm. Rich in fiber, minerals, vitamins, and antioxidants, stinging nettle has shown promise in promoting kidney function and cleansing. Its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties may help alleviate conditions such as urinary tract infections, or UTIs in short, and kidney stones. Plus, its diuretic effects can support flushing toxins from the kidneys. So, the use of stinging nettle as a remedy may offer a natural approach to supporting kidney health and cleansing. Also, stinging nettle can treat urinary symptoms of an enlarged prostate or benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH in short, in older men. In Europe, stinging nettle root is widely used for this purpose. Some research shows that stinging nettle is as effective as finasteride, a common BPH medication, in slowing prostate cell growth. Plus, studies suggest that stinging nettle, often combined with saw palmetto, can help with reduced urine flow, incomplete bladder emptying, post-urination dripping, and frequent urges to urinate. However, it's important to consult a doctor before using stinging nettle as a remedy for BPH. The ability of nettle to prevent kidney stone formation lies in its bioactive phytochemicals, such as flavonoids, anthocyanins, and saponins. These compounds inhibit calcium and oxalate buildup and crystal growth, which are the components of kidney stones. Some researchers investigated the antioxidant effect of nettle extract on male rabbits given genomycin, a medication that can harm the kidneys. Genomycin causes kidney damage and increased toxin levels in untreated rabbits. However, rabbits treated with nettle extract alongside gentamicin showed protective effects with no significant kidney damage observed. This suggests that nettle extract has a strong antioxidant ability and could play a crucial role in promoting kidney health by mitigating oxidative stress. Eating dried or cooked stinging nettle is usually safe with few side effects. However, be cautious when touching fresh stinging nettle leaves because their tiny hairs can sting your skin. Pregnant women should avoid stinging nettle as it might cause uterine contractions which could increase the risk of miscarriage. 3. Juniper berries Juniper berries, derived from the evergreen aromatic shrub Juniperus communis L, are rich in antioxidants and anti-inflammatory agents. This herb has been historically used for its diuretic, antiseptic, and anti-inflammatory effects. Juniper berry oil contains alpha-pinene, a potent compound with proven effects on both lab and animals. Juniper increases urine output without losing electrolytes, mainly due to its essential oil and hydrophilic components, which can easily dissolve in or interact with water. Specifically, 
terpenin 4 ol increases the glomerular filtration rate, or the rate of urine filtered. A 2020 study in the Clinical and Experimental Health Sciences investigated the effects of juniper berry oil on kidney dysfunction in diabetic rats. They divided 28 rats into groups, including rats untreated or treated with juniper oil. Results showed that diabetic rats treated with juniper oil had better kidney function compared to untreated rats. So, this study provides evidence of juniper berry's potential to improve kidney health and diabetic conditions by reducing oxidative stress and improving kidney function. However, excessive and prolonged use of juniper may irritate the kidneys, especially in cases of underlying kidney issues. However, studies showed mixed results, so if irritation does occur, it's important to consult a doctor for specific guidance. In this case, it would help if you cut down on the irritant, which is juniper. Plus, you can also drink plenty of water to alleviate the effects. Also, as juniper berries are diuretic or make you urinate more. Be cautious. Kidney disease patients often need to limit water intake to avoid water retention. Stop taking juniper berries if you notice any side effects. 2.Corn Silk Corn silk is the thin, shiny threads between the husk and ear of corn. Each ear of corn can have hundreds of these strands, which are essential for pollination and kernel growth. Corn silk, used in both Native American and traditional Chinese medicine, has been in human studies shown to lower blood pressure and help manage diabetes. Note that high blood pressure and diabetes are major risk factors for kidney disease. Extract from corn silk can also have a positive impact on kidney health by acting as a diuretic, increasing urine flow and potentially preventing urinary tract and bladder infections. Additionally, it may help prevent kidney stones and protect against kidney damage from certain medications. Simply put, it contains bioactive compounds such as flavonoids, which contribute to its antioxidant capacity. Furthermore, corn silk has been studied for its potential to lessen kidney damage caused by substances like genomycin, a common antibiotic known for causing kidney damage in some cases. While corn silk shows a protective effect against certain kidney injuries, higher doses may lead to toxins build up in the kidneys. You can add fresh corn silk into your diet as a topping on salads, potatoes, soups, and tacos. You can also use it to make corn silk tea by simmering fresh or dried corn silk in water for about 10 minutes, then letting it steep for an additional 30 minutes. After that, strain it and enjoy hot or cold. Cleavers cleavers, scientifically known as gallium aparine, are a herbaceous plant rich in phytonutrients such as phenols, tannins, alkaloids, anthraquinones, coumarins, and flavonoids. Their diuretic properties, which can help increase urine flow and potentially support kidney function, are believed to aid in kidney cleansing. Additionally, some extraction of cleavers demonstrated strong antioxidant activity, particularly the aqueous fraction. Antioxidants can support kidney health by reducing oxidative stress, which is implicated in kidney damage, as we mentioned before. The high phenolic and flavonoid contents in the aqueous fraction contribute to its antioxidant properties, protecting against kidney damage caused by free radicals and oxidative stress. Therefore, incorporating cleavers, especially its extract, into a kidney cleansing diet could help promote kidney health. In 2006, a study from the Yasuj University of Medical Sciences looked at the kidney damage caused by cisplatin. This powerful anti-cancer medication is toxic to kidneys, and scientists wanted to see whether cleaver extract could help. The study was conducted using 70 rats randomly divided into groups. 
the rats were treated with different doses of cisplatin and cleaver extract, and their kidneys were examined. The results revealed that all drug-treated groups had increased mean glomerular volume, indicating kidney damage. However, groups receiving higher doses of cleaver extract showed less severe kidney enlargement. Thus, cleaver extract shows promise as a protective agent against cisplatin-induced kidney damage. With their sticky hooks, cleavers are best utilized in teas rather than consumed raw. Cleavers have also been traditionally used to treat conditions like cystitis. Precautions when using herbs for kidney cleanse. Now, we know that herbal medicine presents alternative therapies for various conditions, including chronic kidney disease, or CKD in short. However, caution is warranted as certain herbs, such as bergantia and aserum, contain aristolosic acid that can worsen kidney disease. The herbs we're suggesting today generally don't contain this substance and are generally safe. However, not all herbs are safe to use as therapy, so it's best to consult a healthcare professional before you use a new herb, especially if you have a health condition. This is because some herbs may interact with your current medications, especially anticoagulants, antihypertensives, and diuretics. They can either increase or decrease the effect of these medications. If you are taking these medications, consult your doctor for personalized advice. You should inform your doctor whether you use these herbs before or while taking these medications. This information is crucial, as it could lead to unexpected and potentially hazardous outcomes for you and your healthcare providers. Moreover, herbal supplements sourced from different countries may contain heavy metals, such as grains of salamine acid, posing a risk to kidney health. In some instances, herbal supplements can interact with prescription medications, potentially altering their effectiveness and impacting kidney function. Also, some herbs contain high levels of potassium or phosphorus, which should be restricted or added carefully under a healthcare professional's guidance for people with kidney disease, particularly those undergoing dialysis. Notably, some herbs function as diuretics, potentially aggravating or harming the kidneys, especially if their function is compromised. What is more, the FDA does not regulate herbal supplements for dosage, content, or purity and there is limited research on how well they work, particularly in patients with kidney disease. Patients with kidney disease may have other health concerns from herbal supplements, such as bleeding disorders, which increase the susceptibility to adverse reactions. Special caution is advised for pregnant or lactating women and children. Certain herbs, like dandelion, parsley, and cleavers support kidney health with their diuretic properties, while ginger adds flavor without salt. Turmeric curcuminoids and stinging nettle can help prevent stone formation, and juniper berries and corn silk prevent urinary tract infections. To detoxify the kidneys, focus on hydration, a balanced diet, and limiting sodium intake. Those with kidney disease should be cautious of herb contents. Make sure to inform your healthcare provider about any supplements you're using. And if you're serious about mastering your health and understanding how the body works, make sure you subscribe to us, hit the bell icon, and turn on all notifications so you never miss a life-saving video. If you enjoyed this video, we believe you'll enjoy the video on the screen. Here, we share the 5 best fruits to help cleanse your kidneys and tips for using them. See you there. Stay informed. Stay healthy.